Hello, good afternoon, Michael Wynn, Chief Digital Officer of Digital Ops, a division of RV Op and I'm Associates. Welcome to the Digital Marketing Podcast and video series where we talk about digital marketing tactics and strategies to help grow your business. Today's episode is about YouTube video SEO, and it's really a comprehensive tutorial broken up into three parts. And today in part one, we're gonna talk about finding magical topics and what are the best video recipes to really help optimize your videos. You know, with, with so much happening in the world today and, and so many video screens recording meetings and um, just all the different things that are happening, whether they're Zoom meetings or whether they are, um, you know, just video chat sessions with Google Meet. There are so many, um, you know, just so many video platforms that are out there. You have to think about why not capture this content and really leverage it for your business or for your brand and, and, and leverage it in a way that has lasting brand equity for your business. So, Let's get right into it. We're going to talk about right now is how to find magical topics. So finding the right topic is really about keywords and unlocking the massive return on investment um, when you do it right. Because there are really some hidden gems um, with, with YouTube SEO and it's kind of counterpart in the Google organic search results. So one of the things that we've observed over the last few years is that there's a positive correlation between um, videos that are really synced together with five sort of core topic areas. Um, videos that do really well on YouTube and who also often show up in suggested videos related to organic search queries on Google search um, have to do with these five things. And we're going to cover those in just a minute. So what you want to think about is if you've ever noticed when you start to type in a search term that there's a predictive text that Google often will try to anticipate what it is that you are trying to uh, search for based on the fact that many other people have searched for the same term just like you have. So some of the most common, and again, really there's five kind of really core areas that seem to have a trend when it comes to um, the kinds of videos. So number one would be how-to videos. I mean, it, it's no secret, right? You and I were trying to figure out how to do stuff and we go to YouTube and we learn how to do it. So number one, obviously how-to. Number two is reviews or feedback about products or services. So these reviews are, you know, basically a, a list of pros and cons or an analysis of whether it's a tool or whether it's, you know, um, you know, it could be a, a clothing item. It could be an automotive. It could be a house. You know, if you're a realtor, you could talk about, you know, a house that you're, you know, reviewing. You could talk about a service provider. I mean, there's so many different things that you could give a review on. And it could be as well, um, you know, it could be a software review or it could be a, a, a review of multiple products or multiple services and doing a side by side review of those uh, and how they compare to one another. Number three is tutorial. Guy, there's, guys, there is no. Uh, you know, secret in the fact that the title of this video, YouTube Video SEO, a comprehensive tutorial, uh, part one is magic topics and video. The reason why I included tutorial in it is because when I post this video, the, the video of, of the podcast, when I post that, I want to make sure that, you know, I'm actually going to capture people's attention who are trying to learn about YouTube video SEO and how it works. Number four is fitness or pretty much anything sports related. Um, 
you know, obviously right now we are in a situation where there is basically no live sports, um, you know, because of the stay at home order. Now we know that Korean baseball is going to start up uh, this week. So all of a sudden, you know, you're going to start seeing on ESPN Korean baseball. Um, you know, there's already talks of, you know, you know, how are how is the NFL going to respond? Are we going to have, you know, 50 percent capacity in stadiums? Um, and, and that's a lot of speculation. But what we do know about YouTube videos is that if it's fitness related or if it's sports related, those are a great topic. And then lastly is obviously funny videos, right? I mean, everyone loves the ridiculous, cute cats, funny dogs, anything that has that, that you know, is funny and captured, you know, uh, on video does well. So those are kind of the five um, videos that we see often show up in when you're doing a search query on, you know, google.com, like when you're doing a organic query based search, that when you hit enter, you see the ads first, and then you see the map pack, and then maybe there are videos below. So these are, you know, finding the right topic um, is about identifying words that trigger those videos to pop up. And those five things that we just mentioned, the how-to, the reviews, tutorials, fitness or sports, or funny videos, those five things, those are things that Google likes to show because there's such a wide um, marketplace for people who are looking for that kind of content. Now, the other piece that a lot of, of, of brands don't understand, and, and this is what's so critical about understanding this, you know, right now in the time that we live, um, you know, with, with over 26 million uh, Americans unemployed, um, thousands of businesses who have closed their doors or scaled back tremendously, now is the time to make sure that your marketing nickels spend like marketing $10 bills. And so whenever you can put in sweat equity, brand equity in creating videos and leveraging or kind of, you know, almost like hedging your bets against uh, digital AdWords spend or pay per click spend money. This is a really good strategy, um, leveraging YouTube SEO. Because here's the thing, when someone puts in a search topic, you know, there's the ads that come up right away. And and some users of, of Chrome and, and you know, those browsers, um, they're skeptical of those ads because they're afraid they're going to get tricked. Some are. Um, but the other thing is that when you're scrolling down and you see those videos, you know, you're much less likely to be skeptical and you're more likely to actually watch that video because it's going to demonstrate, you know, like, again, we're lazy. We like to just watch the video, like, show me how it works. Tell me how it's done. I don't want to read about it. Just show me, right? So the the alternative or or the you know sort of counterpunch of video SEO against what the cost would be for Google AdWords and a pay per click campaign, um, you can really see some, some significant savings in your digital marketing budget by uh, you know kind of pivoting temporarily if AdWords and PPC have been a big part of your digital marketing budget. And there's a lot of brands right now that are pulling back massive on PPC and digital media ad spend. Um, you know, you could do a Google search and see all of the big brands. We're talking blue chip Fortune 500 brands pulling millions of dollars out of digital marketing right now. It is happening. And what are they, what are they trying to do? They're trying to find and leverage underpriced attention. Well, guys, YouTube video SEO is absolutely one of those tactics that, that brands should leverage in a time where all of your marketing dollars need to be really wisely spent and, and wisely invested. Again, because long-term value of YouTube SEO is really, really fantastic. Now, here's the thing. When we're trying to find a magic topic, what we're looking for is, okay, let's say we've, we've put in a topic, we see that the videos go up, we need to get a gauge on 
what how many searches per month of that topic on Google are showing up so that we know for sure we've got a magical topic. The way we know that is Google has a free tool that's out. It's called the Google Keyword Map or the Google Keyword Planner. It's really a, a great tool. You can literally Google Google Keyword Planner, find a bunch of articles, go straight to it. It's a free tool. Once you go on there, you can do a search and you can look at these search terms and get an idea of uh, the monthly volume, the amount of searches that have that term in it. And once you get over 500 per month, that's really the number that you're looking for. Anything below that is like, eh, you know, you really want to target 500 and above. So again, the magic formula here is number one, that you have a search term and that in the search results, videos appear, right? And then kind of double check, fact check yourself to go, okay, number one, I have a term that produces vi suggested videos. Number two, that term has more than 500 searches per month. Um, and so once I have that, then I know, yes, I have got a good, a magical topic um, that, you know, really that I want to kind of build around some content, a specific video or a series of videos, um, you know, to try to hit on, on that magical topic. So let's go into what is a great video recipe, you know, a video recipe. And I, and I think it's, you know, worth, worth talking about. We'll talk about it in a minute where we talk about, you know, how to make this video. But first of all, let's talk about what is, what is the metric? What is the measurement that YouTube is looking for when they decide, Hey, this video is better than another video on a similar topic. It really boils down to this. Does your video have 100% viewer attention? Do you captivate the viewer? Do they just watch it and 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 you know watch it till the very end or or watch it you know ninety percent a hundred percent is what they're looking for like that's the the gold standard. Why do you think that is? I mean, the secret to understanding this search and suggested videos is really first of all understanding that audience retention is the absolute metric that YouTube says is the most important thing. Literally, according to YouTube, videos with consistently high audience retention and watch time have potential to show up more frequently in search and suggested locations on YouTube. So when you understand that, then you are able to unlock you know, the key in holding someone's attention and having your video, um, you know, rise above the, the others. I mean, that at, at the basics, that's what we're talking about when we're trying to optimize a YouTube video. When we're really talking about YouTube video SEO, it's about an understanding, a fundamental of what does the platform, what are they trying to do? and then reverse engineering your product to meet that, that desired outcome, that product that they have to deliver. Now, think about this. This is the why attention, um, audience retention is so important. You do understand that YouTube is an ad platform, right? That, that people place large budgets on YouTube as a video ad platform. And so, of course, if you're going to make great videos that capture people's attention and they watch it all the way through, then guess what happens? They're gonna get to see more, the more ads. The longer they're on, the more ads they see. Of course, YouTube is gonna place a greater emphasis on that video versus another video that's on the same topic matter, but it's not engaging, that's not interesting, right? There's not value in it. So now, okay, we're understanding that we gotta have the magic, we gotta have the magical topic. We know that there's a science and a formula, we've talked about that. So what's the formula for creating high retention videos? 
That's what we're going to talk about next. I know you want to you want to find out, and it's actually pretty simple. It, it's a really it's a core fundamental um, practice of just good storytelling. Um, so let's get right into it. Here are really kind of the three components or the three ingredients of creating a great YouTube video that will yield high retention for your brand. Number one, lead with the summary. When I started off this video, what did I say? I said, we're gonna talk about YouTube video SEO in a comprehensive tutorial. And today we're gonna to talk about magical topics and video recipes, right? I started right off, told you what we're gonna talk about so that you know what you're gonna get at the end of the video. So starting with that in your video captures attention. Did you know that many video, many, many videos on YouTube, the people, they, they go to the next one within like the first 10 seconds, you know, because you didn't start off in, in letting them understand that what's in it for them, right? So if you can start off when you lead with a summary and you can explain the value up front you have a much greater chance in holding their attention. Number two is get deep quick, right? That's the thing, like, you know, you really wanna avoid these kind of long drawn out, um, you know, a setup, if you will, of the story or a setup of what you're trying to build. Like jump into the details right away, get into the nitty gritty of what it is that you're gonna talk about. So again, whether it's a how-to video, a review video, tutorial video, fitness sports related, or a funny video. Again, the formula is lead with the summary, dive into the details. And then number three is tease, tease, tease. Tease what's coming up next. A couple of times in the episode today, you've heard me say we're going to talk about in a minute, right? So what am I doing? I'm teasing what's coming up right? I'm, I'm keeping you interested or I'm, I'm trying to kind of let the audience know here's what's coming up next. I mean, we see this in great storytelling all the times, right? You're watching a video uh, or you're watching a movie or your favorite, you know, um, Netflix show where there's the foreshadowing, right? They drop these hints about what could happen next. And you're in your mind, you're trying to figure out what's going to happen next. Guys, that same basic principle applies to having high retention videos on YouTube. So I know today has been, um, for, for some of you, you know, this is a, a really kind of an intro, but it's an intro with details that has meaning that you can automatically kind of go out there and do a search um, on Google, look to see what the predictive search sort of, you know, phrases are, Go ahead and go through those, look at the search results, identify if videos show up, right? I mean, so the first point is finding the magical topic, right? And that's what you're gonna do, going through that process of typing in your search, hitting enter, observing what the videos are, then taking that one step further in analysis and go to your Google Keyword Planner and make sure you've got at least 500 searches per month. Then you take that and plug it into your formula for creating high retention videos, which is number one, make sure you lead with a summary of what you're gonna talk about, what you're gonna cover. Number two, get deep quickly, dive into the details. And number three, tease them, tease them, tease them. So they keep watching. And again, these are the fundamentals of YouTube SEO, video SEO. Uh, I hope you'll tune in next time as we're gonna go into part two and take a little bit deeper dive into YouTube video SEO. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in today. My name is Michael Wynn. I'm the Chief Digital Officer of Digital Ops, a division of RB Oppenheim Associates. I'll check you next time.